Hey guys, hello and welcome to the Divi Machine Overview video. My name is Roby and I'll be walking you through a high level overview of Divi Machine as well as showing you how to download, install, activate, as well as how to work with caching to make sure that you can build your site effectively without any issues. Definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com for more specific details on Divi Engine. Feel free to also contact our amazing support team if you run into more complex issues They'll be sure to help you out as soon as they can. So with that, let's get into it. Okay, now before we dive in with both feet, we just wanna spend a quick second to talk about caching. Now caching is a great way to speed up the internet. It really makes websites efficient in the way that they load and it has numerous benefits. But we recommend whenever you're building a Divi site, especially with some of our Divi engine plugins that you disable the caching on your website. Now there's a few ways that you can go about doing this. The first is, is to log into the backend of your Divi site and make sure that your static CSS is disabled. So you go to the Divi section, theme, op theme options, you click on Builder, Advanced, and then here where it says Static CSS File Generation, you turn that Enabled to Disabled and hit the Save button. Now the other thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that any caching plugins that you have enabled on your site, installed and enabled, that they're disabled also while editing your Divi site. So we click on plugins, and then right here, you can see that I've got Breeze installed. I'm gonna hit the deactivate button, and then that'll disable the caching plugin on my site. Now lastly, you might wanna clear your cache on your Divi, um, on, on your website, your Divi site here. So you're just gonna go to your browser of choice and disable and clear the caching on the site. Now you can enable all the caching again once when you're done editing your Divi site, but this is just a good practice to make sure that you don't run into any issues while using any of our plugins. Okay, so now to download the Divi Machine plugin, you need to make sure that you're logged into your Divi Engine account at DiviEngine.com. Once you're in there, you're gonna click on the button on the left-hand column right here called My Downloads. And then you'll wait for that to load on up and once you get to the next screen, you'll see all the Divi Engine plugins that you've purchased. All you need to do is click the Divi Machine button in the download column, and I'll go ahead and download it to your computer right here. Now make sure that when you download this, that you download it to a spot you can easily find. You can see here on my screen that I've already downloaded the plugin, so I'm not gonna download it again right now, but just be sure to put it in a spot you can easily find for the next step where we go and install it. Okay, so to install the Divi Machine plugin, we need to make sure that we're logged into the back end of our Divi website. So you can see here that I'm logged into the back end of one of my Divi installs, and I'm gonna go ahead to the plugins area and then click on add new right here. Now when this page loads, you'll see a bunch of options here with plugins you can download. We're gonna click on the upload plugin button up here, then click on choose file, and then we'll select the plugin file that we downloaded in the previous step and hit the open button and then we'll click on the install now button. Now when this process is completed, make sure to activate the plugin. And now we're not done at this point. We still need to install the advanced custom fields plugin which makes the magic inside of Divi machine happen. So we're gonna go up here again to the add new button for the plugins. We're gonna go here to the search field and we're gonna type in advanced custom fields and hit the enter button. Now when this loads up, you're gonna see this green icon in the middle here, advanced custom fields by delicious brains. Hit the install button and just wait a bit while that finishes up. And when it's done, hit the activate button and now you should be all set. We've got all the plugins needed for Divi Machine to work installed, and we're gonna be adding the license key now. Now to add the license key, we need to head back to the Divi Engine website at DiviEngine.com. What we're gonna do now then is we're gonna click on the My Orders button in the left-hand column once you're logged in. And then on the next page, you'll see all of your recent orders or active memberships. You're gonna click on Manage License, and that'll take a second to load up. And then you'll see all the licenses that you've generated here, but we'll scroll to the bottom and we'll see the key generator. Now you just click the drop down button and select Divi Machine and hit Generate License Key. 
Now, it might be that you've previously generated a key. That means it'll just be up here under the Divi Machine heading, copy your license key there, and then we'll head back to the back end of our Divi website. Okay, so on the back end of our Divi site again here, we're gonna head over to the Divi Engine link on the left-hand column, and we're gonna click on Machine Settings. When this loads, we'll click on the License tab, and all we need to do is paste our license key in here and hit the Save button, and now we're all set to get started. Okay, so now that we've got the plugin installed, activated, all the requirements are met, let's take a quick tour of the plugin and its various settings and features. Firstly, if you hover here over the Divi Engine link on the left-hand column, you'll see the top one, which is Divi Engine. This is just a page where you can find the documentation. There's also a welcome video from our founder, Peter, and our lead developer. So this is just a good spot to get started, get orientated within the plugin, and also just have all the important links as it pertains to Divi Machine. The next one is the Divi Machine settings. There you'll find all the various settings for Divi Machine. The next one is add edit post types, where you'll be adding and editing, of course, your post types. And then the next and last one is add edit taxonomies. And in here, you'll go ahead and edit any taxonomies that you have created or add new ones that you would like to use. And that's it for the overview of the Divi Engine settings. We'll get in a little deeper in the next videos. Alrighty guys, this concludes the brief overview of how to download, install, and activate the Divi Machine plugin as well as advanced custom fields. We did a quick overview of the different sections that were added to your menu, and we'll dive in a little bit deeper here in the next few videos. So thank you for watching this video. Again, this is Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'll catch you guys in the next video.